Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. So we started a new video series on uh, getting a, a, a free Spark and Arduino virtual machine, uh, virtual machine from uh, our uh, website, which is uh, SparkExample.com. Okay, so uh, um, so we actually created a virtual machine uh, uh, for uh, data engineers who want to start immediately uh, getting into the environment and build it. So, uh, so we we actually provided the VM. So you can just uh, uh, give us your request uh, by going through this uh, uh, project, uh, this uh, uh, link. Okay, so you can just uh, log into the uh, SparkExample.com and uh, uh, the blog, and you can request for this uh, uh, VM. So once you get this VM, I will send you the uh, like you have to send us the request through the contact us link. Uh, then uh, we'll send you the S3 link. Once you download the S3 link, so you need to set up, uh, uh, you need to set up the VM on your machine, right? So in the previous steps, I I explained you the previous video. I explained you about uh, how to uh, create a virtual box, uh, virtual box software, uh, uh, virtual box, sorry, virtual box software, uh, visualization software on your uh, Windows machine, and then how to import that uh, virtual machine, which we send it as S3 link uh, on your uh, 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 desktop or uh, uh, laptop uh, through to the uh, virtual virtualization software called VirtualBox. So, uh, <coughs> so till last video we set up the uh, we imported the VM and the VM is ready. Now in this video I will go to explain you how to access the different components in your VM, the free VM which we have given. So first we'll start with the Apache Hadoop. Okay, it's, it's the base for all uh, big data components. Okay. Uh, many of the big data components okay so <clears throat> so once you log on to your vm okay so basically this is the vm we already uh, imported on your system so we want to access through this so you just log on to your vm uh, then open a terminal okay so you can just go to this uh, uh, um, the uh, dot grid okay click on this and it will open uh, uh, like kind of start menu you can type a terminal and open this or you can just say uh, uh, control uh, uh, all control T will open the terminal window once you open the terminal window you can just you can just navigate the space so once you, the terminal window is open it will be a home 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 uh, directory of the VM so basically the user which we are using is data making so data making users home directory by default you will be will be then uh, in this uh, in the same directory i have uh, another directory called data making underscore work area so inside work area you have softwares so inside software folders you you see all the softwares being kept it here installed here so uh, adobe is installed here and uh, spark installed here cassandra is uh, uh, cassandra is uh, installed on the default uh, uh, location i will tell you so and this is installed on the uh, uh, zeppelin is installed and PyCharm IDE and IntelliJ IDE and Kafka, all this software have been installed in this location. So this is a software, uh, uh, many softwares being installed in this location, which is a home folder is data making. Inside the data making home, home directory, I have a data making underscore work area. Inside that I have a software folder, which has all the softwares. Okay. Now first we want to know in this video, we want to access the Hadoop environment. Just to open a CD Hadoop, uh, the version is 2.9.2. Once you navigate, you will see all this uh, bin folder, yes bin folder, leaf folders, everything. Okay. Now we are going to start the uh, Adobe components. So first we will start HDFS. To start HDFS, uh, so uh, these are the S bin. Okay. So mostly the commands like Adobe commands, HDFS commands, uh, shortcuts are there. Uh, to start a different uh, demands or process of Adobe, you have a, a different shell script which has kept in the S bin folder. So basically, uh, to start HDFS, you need to use the um, start dfs.sh. That is a there is a file called uh, start dfs. Where is it here? Okay, you need to start this. And then, if you want to start the yarn, you need to use uh, start yarn uh, uh, dot sh. Basically, if you want to start every star every components uh, uh, but a single sort, so you can use start iphone all dot sh. But this is going to be deprecated, so I would start with the start DFS and the start yarn. So we are going to use uh, first. You can just say type uh, JPS. So JPS command is just to uh, uh, show you the different Java process running on this VM. So basically, one is JPS itself on Java process. 
and then followed by uh, quorum uh, pierre main and kafka so when you start the vm there are a uh, few components which is starting uh, by when then when the system boots up itself okay so you can actually stop this uh, kafka components i will tell you in the coming up video how to access the kafka uh, installation folder and stop the kafka server or broker uh, everything i will tell you so in this video we'll start the start dfs so before uh, starting this i just want to show you how many process are running what are the process are running so once uh, enter that it will start uh, it will start the name node data node secondary name node so for hadoop uh, sdfs perspective there are three uh, uh, process are important which is name node data node secondary name node that's what it is starting and then you can actually type jps and it you see here data node secondary name node name node is started then now next uh, thing is you can just start the yarn process uh, so it, before that you can just navigate to the, to the localhost colon uh, 750070 which is the uh, web interface okay web, web interface uh, http uh, port for the name node which is a name node web ui okay so you can you can actually access using the localhost colon 500070 you can click on this uh, utils and uh, browse from file system or you can just navigate to your uh, sdfs directories create folder other stuff okay so now we can just type jps uh, you will see this uh, so if you are starting yarn you just type yarn hyphen uh, start hyphen yarn.sh and it will start the resource manager and node manager which this were this two are two important processes in the yarn uh, framework uh, after that when you put jps you will see all the processor which is running okay so on the yarn web ui url is localhost colon 8088 so it will open this okay so if you want to list down uh, some of the components hadoop components you can use the hadoop command so hadoop space fs space hyphen ls space slash if you put it will show you the uh, list of directories in the root directory of sdfs actually we just uh, uh, in this vm we just didn't put any uh, directories or folder so let me create one folder so to create a directory in the sdfs use the hadoop component hadoop fs hyphen mkdr slash make, make, make data making i'm just creating a directory called data making so again if you run this fs uh, hadoop fs hyphen ls slash command it will show you the directory which we created previously so this is how you create a, a different directories on uh, hadoop so you can use many hadoop components yarn com yarn uh, commands everything so uh, now in this video uh, we understood how to access the login to the vm and how to access the hadoop components so next video we'll start with how to access the spark components in this vm and you can actually start using the spark and the hadoop every components thank you so much friends see you in the next video okay so if you have any queries uh, you can post the uh, 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 question or question uh, queries on the this uh, comment section of the video and also please uh, watch my uh, other videos in my playlist and uh, uh, please make use of this uh, uh, my channel thank you so much friends